Well, uh, again, coming at it from the cable side, um, I think that the uh, the basic, the, the main uh, driver, to be honest with mm -hmm. you, the time and Warner merger, were the cable companies. We had right. ETC, and Warner Communications had the old... Uh, um, Warner Amex stations, right? And right. putting those together, uh, you know, I always used to draw a V. Now, and, and I realize we're on the phone here talking, but if you can okay. imagine a V, on one branch of the V were magazines and HBO, and then at the bottom of that branch was cable. On the other branch of the V was music and movies, and at the bottom of the V was cable. So the place, the time... And Warner overlapped was on cable, and I think that's what drove that merger. In fact, there have been three. There were three major mergers in the relatively brief history, just 20 years now, of Time Warner, yeah. and they were Time and Warner, Time and Warner coming together, then the merger with Turner Broadcast, right. and then the merger with AOL. And I believe each one of them was ultimately driven by the presence of the cable systems, the cable business. Well. All right, so let's start with uh, Time and Warner. There really wasn't a lot of synergy um, between, for example, the Warner Brothers movie studios and Time magazines, right? Or, right. for that matter, between the music company and HBO. The synergies, uh, to the extent that, that there was commonality between the companies and a reason to bring them together, was that, you know, it was a big, actually what it really was, was a, a merger of two cable companies. 